Hi, I'm Ken Hopkins from the School Lunch Association. Hopefully you'll join us at the Avalon Mall on Thursday, April 26th from 10 to 3, where we'll have performances by local musicians, highlight our sponsors, and have performances of school choir. It's our School Lunch Radiothon. Yeah! yeah! The School Lunch Program is a program that uh, provides uh, high nutritious meals to all school children, regardless of the family's financial situation. And it's very important that we're a non-stigmatizing program, which means that all children in schools are in have access to the same meal every day. Last year was our first year that six of our employees actually went to two local schools. We actually went and actually served lunch to the kids. It was over 400 kids that we served lunch to and it was fantastic. I've been to schools where the School Lunch Association uh, has meals being given out. I've, I've been involved in providing some of those at some of the schools and uh, to see the benefits, to see the children who benefit, to see the reaction of the children, to see the smiles on the faces, to see the look of contentment on their face, that's all you need. It doesn't matter what they're wearing, what their parents do, what their home life is like, where they live, they know that when they walk into Bishop Field they are going to have a nutritious meal and that matters. And it may be the one meal a day that the child is guaranteed and so I think every school should have the opportunity to be able to offer that. Unfortunately, your postal code a lot of times determines what opportunities you're going to have. And for this program to create that balance and create that equality so that for that small part of the day, all kids are being treated the same, all kids are being treated equal. For me as a parent, that was huge. And that's one of the reasons why we'd always support the program personally. Children have a right to be fed regardless of the situation or circumstance that they've been born into. There shouldn't even be a question or concern as to if your child needs the program, you should be participating. We wouldn't have a school lunch program if we didn't have the sponsors. Who will be there to make sure that the customers and the public are aware of the school lunch program? Um, to get the fundraising involved. The fact that uh, the school lunch program has stepped up in, and in many cases where children otherwise come with no food or very little food and provides each child at the school with uh, a meal, uh, it's a very important activity for those children and very important in their lives and we are very happy to be a part of that and to show our support. Of course we want to provide some monetary contribution. We've always been involved with children and education and community involvement. And so we were looking for groups that we felt would cover off those three areas, and the School Lunch Association was a natural fit for us. I've always felt that, uh, you know, as a local company, um, you should support local uh, charities and be a good corporate citizen. So uh, we do several events uh, a year to help fundraise. People need to understand that you don't just walk in and this meal shows up on your, your plate. Uh, there's a whole lot of effort that goes into making sure that that happens. So for people to volunteer at some point in that, that production stream to see all of this and how it all comes together, I think it would give them a new appreciation for all the effort that the School Lunch Association puts in to make this happen. I think one of the biggest things we can do is continue to promote uh, and educate uh, the value of the School Lunch Program. I think many people in the province are not aware of the, of the, uh, of the uh, need to have such a program in our schools. So I think one of education um, and sharing with the, with the entire province the value of such a, a critical program and more importantly the value for each and every child who comes to our schools.